If Sammy has any papers pertaining to our transactions, deal with it. Thank you for calling. Give my regards to your lovely wife. Excuse me, Lord Mewcross. It's your mother. What has this silly Fanny been doing now? Really, I'm sorry. Oh, it was just a wee accident, Lady Muircross. Your son's come to collect you. Lady Muircross, could you come into the Land Rover, please? Oh, yes. And get up. Get in, Mummy. I'll drive. Lord Mewcross apologizes for any damage or inconvenience that's been caused. She just broke a few jam jars. Don't know why. Anyway, uh, shove it on the bell, eh? Yes. Oh, Lord Mewcross, I'm sorry. Duncan Kerr. That's me. Okie dokie. You've got one minute. Fertilizer lorry just jackknifed in the Perth Road. We're up to our necks in it. Bodies all over the place. It's about my brother. I'm, I want to know, I'm a bit confused as to why there isn't a, some kind of ongoing investigation into his death. It's an accident, wasn't it? But he went to meet somebody that night. Uh, he mentioned some guy called Tierney. It's a, he's a musician or something. I know Tierney. Owns a couple of dreadful wee pubs. A complete and utter dunderheed. His biggest thrill's driving his mother down to Tesco's and his BMW. The only thing he ever caused grievous bodily harm to was a cover version of Beyond the Sea. But I just think you should investigate his business dealings. Something isn't quite right. People do crazy things when they're drunk. He was probably just going for his hole and wanted to sober up first. He took a walk and fell in the water. I don't think so. I really don't. He could run like the wind, your brother. I remember East Coast Champ. Best bloody sprinter we ever had. I know that. Mm. You shouldn't have let him drive smash to his skull. You ever heard the culpable homicide? Him at the mortuary. Wish the shite after dead people. Asshole. Hey, I'm done. That make you feel. What are you doing? Hello, Mother. I'm just looking through some of Sammy's things. This is Caroline's flat now. I know. I just thought I'd come in and tidy up a bit for her. 
We're coming back tonight. What are your plans? I've been offered the job. Here in Dundee? Aye. I think I might just take it. Do you have to? I've nothing else to go back to. There are some things I'd like to do here. You bring trouble in on the soles of your feet. You're my son. I've tried to love you. But the truth is, I didn't really care for you much. I hoped an education would change you, but no. Nah. Just a thug in a nicer cut of suit. It was always Sammy for you, wasn't it? He never let us down. Is it grief you feel, Duncan? Or relief? Here in his mines here. ANG, anything? Some computer disks, a few documents in the safe. Nothing. No bad, Mr. Anderson. Still working for Mr. Tierney. That's right. Yeah. Sandwich? No thanks. Take one. Heard anything about this Sammy Kerr thing? Me? No. Nathan. I'm no interested in violence, Mr. Anderson. Mind that time I tried to run down that bookie in Loch Gailey. Hit the only woman lollipop man instead. Salt. Pepper. Not that, it's fine. No, have some. Please. Oh, oh, Christ, my ears. Oh. One unlucky city. Isn't that right, Mr. Elliot? So they tell me. Oh. Certainly. Tate Bridge disaster. Blockade of Constantinople. Winston Churchill's an MP. The decline of the Raj. Uh, one unlucky city. Now. Now. If Mr. Tierney knows anything, I want to know. Okay. You don't have to hurt me, you just have to ask. Good afternoon, Mr. Kerr. Decided to take that job. When can you start? The complex is to be officially opened by Lord Andrew Muircross next week.
The disease threatening Highland cattle in the west of Ross area remains unidentified. Parliamentary inquiry led by Harold Milligan continues in his absence. Close, Bob. I'm looking for Johnny Tierney. That's me. I'm Sammy's brother. I'm sorry about Sammy. We're closed for a couple of days, but business is business. I want to ask you a few questions. No problem. Drink. No thanks. What? Greasy. Maggot vomiting, hawks spewing, minging. What happens now? To the club. We carry on. Sammy was going to see somebody that night. Who do you think it might have been? No idea. Is that you? Yeah. The producer, never heard of it. Had two hit albums. Three hit singles. We're on the top of the pops twice. And the tune. I'm a Sinatra man myself. Why were you not Sammy Stagnay? The world and his wife was there. And I was busy. Was. And who Rats. Do you know this Liverpool number? No. Interrogation over. Then I stand about like a funny machine. Do some work. Fish. Fifty quid a night, all right? Man's a prick. I mind he used to sing T-Rex songs at parties. What's he so touchy about? McMurdo, professional, domestic, industrial and commercial surveillance. That's right. You said in your advert you were a member of the Institute of Professional Investigators. Right again. No, you're not. I checked. Yeah, well, I've applied, you know. Never kid a kidder. Hey, look, do you want my services or not? What's the job? I'm a busy man, you know. I know you're tight. You shoot your granny for a dark rum and coke. Are you a verbal sadist or something? What's the job? Sammy Kerr, ANG Transport and some property investments. I know what you mean. I want his business investigated thoroughly. All transactions, everything. He also owned a club with a guy named Tierney. I want him checked out too. I'm afraid you'll have to be a bit more specific than checked out. I don't know what that means. <laughs> See if he's got a record. Check his business associates. Can you do that? Why don't you do it? You seem like a smart guy. I don't like donkey work. Do you want the job? Sure, no problem. How much? How much? Uh, 50 pounds a day, uh, plus VAT is 60 pounds, plus expenses. And uh, for that, you'll get 100% commitment. I'm at the T4. Let me know if you find anything interesting. Yeah. What that you mean? Anything. Hey! You do realize this guy Kerr's dead? I do. He was my brother. Keep the receipts.
see how you were. I don't want to talk. I just want all this to be over. I want time to pass and for all the pain to be gone. He was the best man I ever met. He had everything, didn't he? You should always be suspicious of people who have everything. Did Flora have a half day? I always got the blame for him when we were kids. He's still doing it to me. You are a nasty little shite. And you're a rich woman. What are you on about? of a million pounds in a German bank account. Where did you get these? What do you think? I don't know. Have you been going through my things? I find them in your cabinet next door. What right do you have to go through my things? Who do you think you are? Get out! Get out! Do you hear me? Somewhere that you can get these things removed by lasers. Depends all your fingers drop off after four months. Shut up. Dropped us in the shoes. How do you mean? Well, this is a wee bit more than we expected. What are we supposed to do with it all? We don't even have enough trucks. We'll store it in my yard. And where do we hide the rest? We're not the only people that are interested in when this stuff goes. Relax. Relax. Christ.
نا ناخذ information in ANG, you know, personnel, contracts, property holding. How did you get it? I got a mate who works there. I had to give him 40 quid for his time. I didn't manage a receipt though, so he had to take my word for it. Anything else? What? Aye, nocturnal activities, none of which seem to go through the books now. See these trucks in here? They go north. Always the same drivers. Nobody talks about it. Carrying what? Mining equipment. So he says, my mate, you know. Anyway, so I decided to check his story. He's out of focus. Yeah. Anyway, Sammy also owned Dundavis property, along with the William Anderson and Alex Galbraith. Now, Sammy's friend, Councillor Deans, he was on the planning committee, so he got contacts in all the right places. Yeah, it's very complicated. They all seem to invest in each other's projects. It's all tied up, you know? Yeah, there must be more than this. What? Pick me up my hotel at 12 o'clock tonight. Oh, for an extra 50 quid. How many of these to go out? Have you? <laughs> no, I haven't, but that's beside the point. I might have. No, I mean. Economics isn't about numbers, it's philosophy, really. Is it? The first thing you learn is that banks never lose. Have you met my wife? This is Sammy's brother. Duncan. Nicky. Take my advice, Duncan. Filipino women make the best wives. Absolutely no shit. And they keep their own cages clean. Excuse me, can we use that membership? I'd like to place a bet for Hecky Murden. Where's the free coffee and the sandwiches then?
find anything yet. Shut your mouth. What's that? Hurry up. Yeah, hurry up. I'm, I'm just a glorified yellow pages, you know what I mean? Look, I'm no Sam Spade, you know? And it was just something to get me onto the Enterprise Allowance. I bet you're just dying to tell us what you've been up to. <laughs> That's... Uh...